Welcome to the first playthrough of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Trilogy HD. Currently released, or well, maybe a little bit longer released on Steam, an adaptation from Nintendo DS, I guess? It's my first time playing it ever, so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I will struggle not that much, until less than normally. Alright, this one, just for all trust and tribulations. Okay, I guess we're playing all three parts. Let's go. Wait. Kill artwork. Uh, you're playing in a Japanese lawyer, I think. We'll see. <laughs> Alright. Achievement. First steps. Alright. Let's go. Ooh. Damn it, why me? I can't get caught, not like this. <laughs> Go find someone to spin this on. What's his point on his forehead? Okay, he's framing someone. District court, okay. <laughs> Music. Phoenix, boy, I'm nervous. Or oh, am I nervous? Boy, am I nervous. Okay, this is us. So, taps, court record. Okay, I haven't done anything on my badge, I guess. No one believe I was a defense attorney if I didn't carry this. <laughs> Okay, and the autopsy of the girl that got smacked on the head because of that loss of blood due to blunt trauma. Okay, what's our doing? Profile. Mia? Okay. My boss? The fan in this case? Okay, this is my def the opposite part. And a good friend of mine. Oh, shit. Why are they all early 20s? In Germany, if you study law, well, you finish school at what, 19, 18? And then you study for four, four years, five? So, City Stone, age 22. The victim in this case, a model she lived in an apartment by herself. Yeah. Evidence. The autopsy report. Can I read that? No, I can't. Can do something with this? Okay, no, I can't. Okay. So this is my boss. Mia. Hmm. This is my opposite defendant. And this is the victim. That's all I have. Okay. Let's go. Mia, my boss. <laughs> oh, yeah. I already like this game. But why is it blocking, though? Oh, no. She wants to spectate my first case. Please don't. She's impressed. No one checks on a murder trial right off the bat like this. Yeah. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, so I owe this job to a friend of mine. And he's the reason why I became an, uh, an attorney in the first place. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's he's the one, he's the defendant. Yeah, that's... That will happen a lot more because of the language barrier, I guess. Because it's not my native. As everyone figured out who is a native speaker. Okay, so the defendant is... He got blamed for the murder. And I'm helping him out. Ah, crap. I owe him that much. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. <laughs> it's over. Alright, my life, everything is all over. Yeah, it's green, so it's the friendly guy. So my, my, my friend from high school. Yeah, that's my client screaming. Yep. Ah, oh, yeah, the shaky, shaky. <laughs> What's he doing? Banging his head against the wall? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. What? Yeah, he sounds like he wants to, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, do I have a... Ah, uh, boy, do I have a thumbnail there. <laughs> Fuck yeah. What is it? Yeah, screenshot. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Nick, yeah, hey. Larry. Bruh. <laughs> I'm so guilty. No, you're not, man. I've seen the, the dude with the dot on his forehead. Framing your ass. Ah, uh, Give me the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. Good idea. <laughs> it's all over. I'm finished. I can't live in a world without her. I can't. Who? Who took her away from me, Nick? Wait. Did the guy murder his girlfriend? Who took my baby away? Oh, bruh. Personal response for your girlfriend's death. It was you. The newspapers. Okay. Is it the red? Is it a clue? Yeah, my name is Phoenix Wright. You get that right. Here's the story. All right. My first case is a fairly simple one. Yeah. Framing a friend of mine for murdering his girlfriend by smacking a statue in it on her head, leaving a trauma, bleeding to death. Okay. Here we go again. Yeah. In her apartment, the guy they arrested was the unlucky Sep dating her, our friend. Larry. Butts. Oh, his best friend. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> when something smells, it's usually the butts. So they're 23 and 22 and they know... Were their mother's best friends laying next to each other while giving birth? He's 23, right? It's usually not his fault, he just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. Yeah, that's what everyone says about a murder. I didn't expect it. He's such a good guy, he was always polite. clear his name and that's just what I'm going to do so I'm guessing this is going pretty awesome for him district court okay try our first Larry Butts yay 
prosecution is ready. Yeah, so that's the defend or that's the state making a case of it. <laughs> he knows too. We're fucked. Murder is a serious charge. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, I will control my nerves. All right. Let's see. Uh, we should have a test to ascertain your readiness. Oh, nah. Okay, if it's something I missed, if they ask me about it, I'm screwed in the first place. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice, man. You will see that a lot taking screenshots. It's fucking gold material. Yeah, eyesight fading, that's nice. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. If it stinks... It's always the butts. Yes! I got it. Next! This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Ah, uh, fuck. If you'd ask me right now, I don't know. Well, I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times. Yeah, about that. Ah, <laughs> uh, crap. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure. I'm up to this. You don't even know. I didn't even have the chance to answer. Come on. I just forgot temporarily. Oh, my boss, man. They're just slightly older. Good looking girl. Look, the victim's name is listed in the court record. Yeah, I've read the court record. Bruh. Bro? I don't know. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. So let's see. No, wait. Profiles. Mia, Cindy Stone. Knew it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's the victim's case? Mia! Oh, shit! <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of focused on her. Uh, Personality. Moving on. Yeah, 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 I'm checking the court record again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait. Cindy Stone. Got it. Yeah, yeah, the victim, City Stone, City Stone. No problem, no problem. First try, first try. <laughs> Shit. Cause of death. Yeah, easy. Easy, I know that one. Hit with a blunt object and then bled to death. Correct, first try again. Three out of three. Okay, I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. Yeah, let's go. You seem much more relaxed. Good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, really. <laughs> well then. Question for the prosecution, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. Struck with a blunt object. The murder weapon. A statue of the Thinker. Seems about right, but 
without this part? Nah, who cares. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. Yep. Statue in the shape of the thinker, it's rather heavy. True. Right. Yeah, but I can check here, right? Nice. Okay. The yeah, ammunition you have in court. Use tab to check the court record frequently. Yeah, yeah, I got it. The fuck? First witness. Mr. Bots to the stand. Okay, so my best friend's going to stand. Going to the stand. Coming to the stand. Chief, what do I do now? What? Yeah. Okay, okay. Razor sharp, razor sharp mind. Razor sharp. <sighs> we'll get everything right the first try, like the three questions in the beginning, right? Okay, let's go. You get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Yeah, I am ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Ah. Uh. This could be bad. Like saying, I wanna die, give me the execution. Okay. Uh, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? What? We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra and Mark Anthony. What? <laughs> Julius Caesar. I wasn't dumb, she just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me. Ever. Imagine this with the hair. Uh, awkward. Okay. What's it to you anyway? Yeah. Mr. Boss, what you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. What? She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What you mean, one of them? Lies, all of it lies. Yeah. Unfortunate, buddy. The victim's passport. Paris until the day. Uh, okay. So she was in Paris a day before she died. I arrived from from Paris on the 30th of July, the day before the murder. Hmm. Okay. Seems about right. Dude. No way. Oh, okay. She was a model and did not have a huge income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies <laughs> yeah sugar and daddies older man who gave her money and gifts she took their money and used it to support her lifestyle dude <laughs> this is phoenix Wright revelations we can clearly see what kind of woman this miss stone was it's like having Instagram nowadays, right? Uh, what do you think of her now? No, no, no. He wants to anger you. This is a trap! Yeah, you don't want him to answer that question. <laughs> Should I? Stop him from answering. Objection, your honor. Yeah, he had no idea. The question is irrelevant for this case. Ha! <laughs> Got him! That cheating she dog. Shut the fuck.
Yeah, and when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. What? Let's continue with the try, shall we? Yeah. Uh, no, the motive isn't clear. He didn't know about it. Bruh. The prosecutor's success. Oh boy. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, didn't you not? So, at the... Uh, was it? January... On the 31st? Well, did you or did you not? Uh, maybe I did and maybe I didn't. What? Hmm. Have him answer honestly. Tell the truth. Damn it. Objection, Your Honor, the defendant is lying. Why? You uh, a witness who can prove Mr. Buzz is lying. Call him in. Who is it? The murderer? The murderer? The murderer. Oh, come on, man. Who's your witness? The man who found the victim's body. Well, well, well. Let's see. Just before making the gruesome discovery, he saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Yeah, they needed that screenshot. <laughs> order, order in the court. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call his witness. And who is it? On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Mr. Frank saw it. Let's see. That mother trucker. That... The dot on the forehead. Yeah, yeah, I sell newspaper. Uh, 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 uh. Selling newspapers. Please tell the court we saw on the day of the murder. He's lying. The testimony. That son of a gun. Okay, see. Door to door selling subscriptions. Yeah, door to door. When I saw a man fleeing in an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it's strange, thinking it's strange, I looked inside the apartment. Wait, he, his name is Sawit, or maybe he saw it. <laughs> Get it? He saw it. Yeah, I yeah, saw it. I saw her, I saw it, uh, lying there, a woman not moving dead, I quit in fright and found myself unable to go inside, I thought to call the police immediately, however the phone in her apartment wasn't working. Yes, yeah, sure. Well, one could easily test it. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone, I remember the time exactly, it was 1pm. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. Oh boy, the slaying son of a gun. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Yeah, I should be the judge. Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Is that true? 
Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, your honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. Isn't that <sighs> nice for Mr. Sawit? The phone that Mr. Sawit used was one of those. Your honor, I have a record of the blackout for you per <laughs> perusal. What's a perusal? I have a record of the blackout for you perusal. To listen to it? Blackout record. It exists if Miss Stone's building was out from noon to 6 p.m. on the day of that of the crime. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's check. So, passport. We have the murder weapon. The passport arriving on the 30th of July. The murder on the 31st of July. So, one day after. At around what 1 p.m. and the blackout from noon to 6 p.m. and we have him newspaper salesman who saw Larry flee the scene yeah doubt it doubt it let's go okay now mr. bright I Yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross examination. Uh, no, don't tell me. I don't know what a cross examination is. <laughs> All right, right. This is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? You expose the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies. Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is the client really guilty? How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. I know contradiction. First. Find contradictions between the court record and the witness testimony. Then, once you found the contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness face. Okay. Open the court record with tab, then point out contradictions in the testimony. Uh, okay. Mm, court record. Uh, there. Now, open the court record with tab, then point out the contradictions in the testimony. Time of death. 31st of July, 4 to 5 p.m. Uh, somewhere between 4 and 5 p.m. And he saw us at 1 p.m. How? Wait. It's, it's rather heavy. Why would it state that it's heavy? I don't know, let's see. The victim is apparently... The victim apparently arrived home from Paris. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The electricity to Miss Stone's building was out from noon to 6 p.m. Time of death between 4 and 5 p.m. And he said... And he said... 1 p.m. he called. Right? Okay. Yeah, four, five. 
Okay. Got it. Cross examination. Fight. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. No, no, no. Wait a second. Fuck. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, uh, whatever. I was uh, just now related there and there are they. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I lost some life. I don't think that won me any points for the. Yeah, you don't say, well, I missed. Hmm. Okay, okay. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Might be true. Thinking it's strange. I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman not moving, dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. Might be. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. There was an outage when she died. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. You found the body at 1 p.m., you sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Because she died! <laughs> Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy knows the time of death at some time after 4 p.m. There was nobody to, uh, nobody to find at 1 p.m. Yep, how do you explain this three-hour gap? Yeah, get fucked, man. I gotcha. <laughs>